today we're going to be making a flat money lay. First you'll need a pair of scissors and some ribbon and of course bills. We chose our $5 bills and we also put in some 10s and 20s. So let's get started. We're going to take our $5 bill and go lengthwise and fold it right in half. And press hard on the fold to make sure that the crease stays just like that and then we're going to fold it again in half length ways and make sure that the crease is nice and tight and it'll look like this when you open it up you can see that there are some folds four equal parts and we'll fold that right back up from here, we're going to fold it in half width ways. So you get the middle crease right in half. Just like this. Make sure it's nice and tight. And you'll open it back up and fold one side in to meet at the middle. Just like this. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. Just like this. And then you can fold it right back in half again. And this is your end piece for each bell. And we'll just keep making sure that it's folded nice and tight. Because when you let go, it opens up like that. <laughs> Make sure the creases are set. And then we'll just put something a little heavier on it to keep it flat. Now we're moving on to our $10 bill. And we'll it in half length ways again making sure that crease is nice and tight and we fold that in half again same thing we're gonna fold that in half in the middle this way right over make sure it's equal and then we open it up and fold it in to meet at the middle both sides Folding it in half again, just like that. And there's our fold for the $10 bill. Now we're moving on with our $20 bill and we're gonna do the same thing, same folds. And you hear me saying a lot to make sure that the fold crease stays. And I repeat that because our Canadian dollar bills are not made out of paper. It's made out of synthetic polymer, so it is plastic. It does not fold as easy as the paper money. Hence the reason why I'm pressing hard when I am keeping the folds just like this. And that's our $20 bill. And if I don't put the scissors on them, they just open up like this. But I did take an elastic pan, bundle them into 10, and put them like that. As you can see, the same pattern on each bill. So now we'll start off with this one, one $5 bill. With the fold, I'm going to open it up at the two folds here and on this side. And the other $5 bill will open up as well and I'm going to stick it through the two holes. Just like this. Right in there. Let's see it come through. And put the other side in. And then I'm going to pull through to make it tight. Right here. Weave it right through. Pull nice and tight. And there's my little V shape with the first two pieces. I'm going to take another bill, open it up, and I'm going to go the opposite direction, but in the same hole, putting it through like a little weaving section here. Sorry, my hands are hurting from all the folding. I'll just stick my finger through here and get it through. And once it reaches the other side, I'm just going to pull on it lightly to make it 
tight little wiggle. And there you go. Those are the first three pieces. And we'll get another piece here. And we're going to do the same thing, putting it through the holes each side. This does take a while, so if you are going to make something like this, make sure you give yourself some time. And once it gets through here, I'm going to pull it again to make it tight. And as you can see the pattern, it's going in two different directions, and that's how it will go all the way through. I'm going to change it up a little bit and put a 10 here, just to get a little color flash change of pattern in it. But the same process, putting it through the holes here and pulling it through. And you can see the one is different from the others because of the color and the pattern. And I'm still going to add the $20 bill here. Doing the same thing. And as you do it, it does get a little bit tighter. You can kind of just wiggle the bills to make room for it. And pull through. And there you have it. So right now you can't really tell too much of the pattern change, but once the other fives are in, you'll be able to notice. And you'll just continue this pattern until you get the desired length that you want. And here's my final one side. I have, I believe, 29 bills here. All of them are fives except for two tens and a 20. So I have about $175 on this side. But again, if you use $1 bills, it'll just be however many you have. So this is my two sides. As you can see, it matches exactly equaling a total of $350. I'm going to take some ribbon, measure it to however long you want. I did it a little bit longer just because I'd like to be able to adjust it and tie it to however I like. So I'm going to take my two patterns here, find the right side that I want, and I'm going to pull this through the hole, kind of like how I was weaving the dollar bills, pull it through one side, and I'm going to also pull it through on the other side, just like that. And then I'm going to take the other side and put it in here, weave it through, wrap it around, put it in again, just like that, and that way you could tie these two right here in the middle. And this is the part that will go around the neck, just like that. And there you have it, a flat money lay. Really easy to make, a nice unique gift. It's good for all occasions. In our case, it's for our son's graduation and he is loving it. As you can see close to his handkerchief here, you can see the 10 and the 20 stand out a little bit more, giving it that extra flash. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have fun making some. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Aloha!